let's look at different types of data and the first one we're going to be talking about is the discrete random variables. Now, what are discrete random variables? The most important thing about the discrete ones is the fact that it should be counted. It is to be counted, which means that it is, as it says, easily counted and categorized. Say, for example, it could be any number or like a size of something. These are called discrete random variables. Say, for example, the number of girls in a class. We can easily count them, can't we? We can't have 6.05 number of girls, right? It has to be either six num six people, seven people, eight people, 20 people. So the number of something is part of a discrete random variable. Now, what about size? Say for example, size of clothes or size of shoes. These are easily um, categorizable, aren't they? Say for example, shoe size, it could be measured as size six, size seven, size eight. They're categorizable into distinct numbers. So those are discrete random variables. And the next one I'm gonna talk about is the continuous random variables. There's two that you have to remember. First one's discrete and we've just dis discussed that. And the next one is the continuous ones. Now, the continuous random variables are quantities that can be measured. Now the quantities, um, these I'm talking about mass, height, time, these are all parts of continuous random variables. Now say for example mass is like something that we can measure in kilograms, grams or in liters, capacities. Um, the height, height of a person or and time, time is like the duration of something that takes for some event to happen. Now these are all continuous and the reason for that is because these numbers are occurring wherever on the number line. So say for example time, I could make that six hours. So there could be six hours, seven hours, eight hours, but it could be six and a half hours, six and three quarters of an hour or 6.001 hour. Like there could be so many different um, numbers that we can fit in on the number line, even between two whole numbers, there can be infinite number of decimal numbers. So be those are the ones that we call continuous. Now, as I've just said, because the continuous ones have so many numbers in between different whole numbers, those are continuous. So if you can see that there are numbers existing between whole numbers, there's a continuous. And if there's no, if there's not, no numbers that can exist between any other um, two numbers, those are the discrete random variables. Okay guys, still confused, we'll try some examples and you might get a better idea of it. We'll start with question one and this give us good examples. So they're asking us to determine whether the variables are discrete or continuous. Sorry, continuous or discrete. So I'm going to start with the first one which says shoe sizes. Now I did mention this as an example earlier. A size of a shoe, they are categorized, say for example size 6, size 7, size 8. Sometimes they might have size 6.5, 7.5, 8.5s, but they're categorizable, aren't they? We don't have a shoe size of 6.01 or 6.05. We don't have those kinds of shoe sizes. They're categorizable. So these are called the discrete random variables. This one is a discrete one, okay? They can be counted. Now the next one we're going to be looking at is the number of students. And I also did mention this earlier. Number of students, say for example, if I wanted the number of students in... Um, the year nine class, then we can count them. We can easily count them and say there are 30 students, but there can't, there can't be 30.1 students, 30.2 students. That's definitely not true, right? So there's no numbers that can exist in between 30 and 31, 31 and 32. They are countable. So this one must be discrete as well. Now the next one, we're going to be looking at the time taken for a trip. Now the time taken, the duration of a trip. Now this one, what do you guys think? I did mention something like this earlier too. This one is continuous. And the reason for that is because time, it can be six hours, six and a half hours, 6.75 hours, 6.7501 hours. It can take whatever number of time. It could be on a scale of anything on the number line. So this one is a continuous uh, random variable. Now, height of a person. Again, height of a person, they're not categorizable. Not, anyone, not any one person has to fit in 169, 170, they could be 169.1, 169.0001. There could be so many different possibilities between, say for example, 169 and 170. So this height is a continuous random variable. Okay guys, now next one we're gonna be looking at is a length of a pencil. Now again guys, depending on what pencil we're gonna be measuring, this one is going to be 
say for example a pencil, it could be five centimeters. But as I said, it's might doesn't doesn't have to be a fixed number like five. It could be five point two, five point two five, five point two zero five. It could be so many possibilities, even just between the numbers two and three. So therefore this one's also continuous. Length, it's always continuous. So not just a pencil, a length of anything we always say it's continuous. Now the next one, the number of books. Now this one's quite easy. The number of books, if I have books on a shelf and I can just easily count them, they're countable, that means they must be discrete. So anything that's easily countable, this one is a discrete random variable. Now I'll do another one. The last one we're going to be looking at is the weight of a baby. Now, depending on how heavy the baby is, they could be 3 kilograms, 3.5 kilograms, 4 kilograms, or even 3.51 kilograms, 3.5001 kilograms. There's so many possible numbers that we can have even between the two numbers 3 and 4. So therefore, this one must be continuous. Weight, height, length, these are all continuous data. So now hopefully you know the difference between discrete and continuous.